Good afternoon and welcome to Louisville, Kentucky. My name is Chuck Cooley. This is Jesse Broadwater. And we are here for the USA Archery Indoor Nationals Final. This is the gold medal match. And this is one we've been looking forward oh, yeah. to all day long. It's going to be a good one. This is the recurve men's final. Yep. And uh, this is Goliath versus Goliath. It's uh, Yeah, you've seen them battle in Lancaster not long ago, and they're doing it again here. So this will be a good match. Yeah, it is number one seed versus number two seed Brady Ellison against Jack Williams. And these guys have been an, in this exact position several times yeah. at matches all around the country and all around the world. Uh, so I'm I'm really excited to kind of see this match, actually. Uh, these guys are, are absolute powerhouses. They're both members of the U.S. Olympic team uh, and the U.S. national team, uh, both, uh, both shooting for Hoyt. Yep. Yep, Olympians. Um, just an amazing display of talent between these two right here. As they put in, they dedicated their whole life towards it pretty much. And um, mm -hmm. it's pretty awesome to see them display that talent here. It, it really is. I mean, and, and you've seen the work that Jack has put in over the years, right? Like we've, if you've been paying attention, we've been in the industry and we get to watch these guys and you see their growth and you see their yeah. potential and you see how they, they get better. Yeah. Right. Brady's been at the top for so long, long that time. it's, it's, it's hard to imagine anybody else being a number one seed. Mm -hmm. But uh, if anybody's going to push him, it's it's Jack and those two guys. They train together. They work yeah. together. They shoot together. Uh, so I think there's a, a lot of effort and a lot of a lot of combined support there. For sure. That yeah. said, <laughs> they both want to win. Oh yeah, for sure. When they get up on that stage, I mean, they're there to win. You yeah. Know? I mean, today there's eight thousand dollars for first place. What is yeah. it? Four thousand for second. Yep. That's a it. that's a big deal. Oh yeah, contingency money. So yeah, I mean, it's it's definitely a big deal. So friends on the side but fierce competitors when they're you know shooting off against each other but right so now it's business it's all business yeah. right so this match this is an indoor match this is a recurve competition so olympic recurve style mm -hmm. uh being an indoor match this is going to be 18 meters which is essentially the same as 20 yards pretty much uh both archers will be standing on top of a box or a podium it's about 12 inches off the ground and then they shoot uh, downrange towards the targets it's in a vertical format now, with the recurve division, uh, when we look at those targets, we have a 10 ring in the middle there. Uh, these are, what, 40 centimeter targets? Yeah. So yeah. that inner ring is four centimeters yep. across, right? So, yeah. yeah, there's a great shot of it there. Yeah. That inner ring is is the 10 ring, and it's four centimeters across. Um, Which? What, it's 40 millimeters, uh, it's like an inch and three quarters. Yeah, some, right? somewhere around there. And then you have the nine, that's the secondary yellow ring there. And then there's the eight and the seven. Those are the two red rings. Mm -hmm. And then the blue is the six ring. Yeah. So these guys will probably not be playing out in those areas. Hopefully not. Um, it, the, the most amazing thing is like these guys, there's, there's, you can't use In a, our next match use a level. will be the right. recurve men. And here they come walking here out. Here they come. That's Jack. On target two, Jack Williams. Target one, Brady Ellison. Brady just, he always looks so calm. I mean, he they does. Both, they both look calm, but Brady's just got a demeanor about him all the time. And But you never really know how they're feeling on the inside. But getting back to what I was saying, it's, it's amazing because these guys can't use a level, no magnification. You know, obviously, like, your form has to be exactly the same each time to hit the same spot down there in the target and these guys are nailing tens like their matches to get here were 30s and 29s pretty much so yeah shooting almost perfect scores yeah right which is hard enough with the compound and these guys are doing it with you know with recurve, with recurve so now you'll notice that both guys are shooting aluminum arrows a little bit larger size mm -hmm. uh what we call a 23 which is the Solid. maximum diameter. It's 23 64ths of an inch. It's the maximum diameter arrow you can shoot. Yep. Some big old feathers on there. Mm -hmm. Man, both good shots, almost at identical spots on the target. So they both made a little slight adjustment. And mm -hmm. Yep. Also a 10. 
I mean, I, I was watching these guys shoot over there in the, you know, the qualification. And they don't look any different shooting here on the final stage than what they did over there. And that just tells you that they got their mental game in check. They're, they're used to this kind of pressure. Um, mm -hmm. And they're just, they're just doing business, you know. Ooh. Little left there. Lost a little left, a little strong. And this is going to give Jack an opportunity here. If he yep. can hit the 10, he'll take that two point advantage. Now, again, in recurve scoring, we use a set point system. Oh, got it. 30. Nice. That's a perfect score 10, 10, 10. Um, so Jack will take an advantage here. Uh, in recurve, we do a set system. So if you. If your score is higher than the other archer's score, you get two points. If you tie, you get one point. Yep. If you lose, you get no points. And it's a race to six. Yeah. Doesn't matter the score. You could shoot a 17 to a 16. A 17 is still going to win that match and get mm -hmm. two points. So it is a little bit different than the compound, as you'll see here in a little bit. But uh, it's got its own dynamic about it. But I would say if you can come out here and do what Jack did and, you know, get those two points up right off the bat, that's going to put the pressure on Brady and he's going to have to, you know, because he don't want to, you don't want to get four points behind and lose another match. So I think whoever wins the first match is going to put the pressure on the other person for sure. So yeah, it's a huge advantage, huge advantage so Mental, mentally, uh, strategically. There's, there's a ton of advantages to it. Now look at Brady's quiver. Yep. It's the first time I've seen him without the gunslinger uh, quiver. Yeah, I know, and that it stinks because, yeah, they had a misfortune and had all uh, him and his wife Toya had all their equipment stolen yeah. from their house not long ago. So he, he had a one of a kind six year quiver and he lost that. So same hole. Same exact hole, yeah. So yeah, that kind of stinks. He had to, you know, revamp all his equipment. And Needed all new gear, and yeah, it was that was tragic. Yeah. A little bit of a long hold there for Jack. A little bit. And but he fell low. Yeah. He wasn't happy with that, but Brady just looks composed and solid. Yep. Yep. Now you. Both of those. Look how similar those yeah. arrow locations are. I was just looking at that. I was like, yep. would you give that a couple of clicks? He just no? did. He did. And sometimes it's more of a mental thing. That, you know, I think they've moved their sight every end now. I've been watching them. So Confidence clicks? Yeah. It could yeah. just be a mental thing or it could be, you know, whatever. But you got to do what you got to do when you're, ooh, that, okay. That didn't look like the greatest of shot, but it went right in there. So mm -hmm. what do I know? I shoot a compound. Yeah, this is. So I what am I? How? What am I to judge Brady Ellison right here? <laughs> Man, it's all a ten there from Jack too. So. And Jack, look. Did you see the look? He was like, "Wow, I can't believe that's in there." Yeah. Kind of, kind of gave it one of those looks. So Brady will take that set. So it'll be tied up now at two-two. So. Right where we want to be, tied up. Everyone wants to see this go down to a single arrow shoot off. I'd love it to go to a shoot off. What's the over/under on that? You want to? You want to? Uh, how you much? Bet a fresh cup of coffee on it that? It's a flip of a coin here with these guys. Uh, I, I did uh, read some of Brady's uh, social, me social media posts, and I know he made some changes to his equipment after Vegas. He, you know, they got mm -hmm. a new model recurve bow here from Hoyt, and um, he had it set up a certain way for Vegas, and I guess he talked to some people there, and he made some changes after Vegas. So yeah. um, he said that he's positive changes, and he's been shooting the best scores he's ever shot in his life. So for him to say that, it's pretty, that's pretty – that's something. Yeah, so. and that's a guy who shot a 900 in Vegas. Yeah, exactly. Right? Yeah. So – and, and, and for those of you who, uh, who are paying attention at home, a 900 in Vegas is a perfect score over three days. And uh, I think he was the first one ever to do it with the recurve, yeah? Yeah, I believe so. Yep. He's Another solid shot there. Yep. I would say both these guys are probably pulling and holding 50-plus oh, pounds. So they're literally holding 50 pounds back there, which is very, very tough and takes a lot of time. And yeah, Muscle, think about muscles. that. Next time you go to the gym, walk over and pick up a 50-pound plate <laughs> right. with your fingertips. Yeah. I mean, look at the pressure on his fingers. You, know, yeah. you can just see it there. That's solid, man. Man, He's right in the middle. Pick up that 50-pound plate and lift it to your chin. Yeah. 
and like hold 30 it. times. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and then do it. It's not like it's hard to tell how many errors these guys shoot a week. Ooh, that's going to be edgy, but I don't know. It, boy, yeah. he might have that. And I can't see it here from my position. I've got a spotting scope here, and I just. There's a cameraman in my way, so I gotta, uh, I gotta trust uh, what we're seeing on the screen. That one's just out. It looks Brady like Brady definitely missed that. One. So if Jack puts this one in there, it'll all go down to the column and second arrow. Yep. Yep. So. We'll so see it's going to be that call. I don't know. The. Uh, I'm gonna say it's. The couch quarterback in me says that's in. Yeah, I was gonna say it's out, but. Oh, never, perfect. You never know until you're down there. You so might owe me a copy. Maybe. Ooh. Oh, he's giving it a look like, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, when your advocate shoots you that look? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so you'll see the judge gets in there with a magnifier and a light, and they give it a look. They're, they're really supposed to give it a look from three angles. And the important thing is to not touch the paper and not touch the arrow so that you can actually score the arrow where it lies and it without any to, influence. Yeah, just touch the line. But it's, sometimes it's tough because the line will get displaced, you know, and you've got to kind of figure out where the line should have been. So Yeah, sometimes you have to kind of recreate that line visually or mentally. Let's so they gave it to, they called it in. So J Jack took that set also. Yeah, so, so it's 4-2 now. Okay. So Jack can actually win it right here. Yep, this is a very important set for Jack right here because mm -hmm. if he shoots a 30, that's going to put the pressure on Brady. He's going to have to shoot a 30 to tie and then make it 5-3, you know. So and push it to that one more end. Yep, mm -hmm. very important match set right here for Jack. Brady's up first. Solid. Same hole. Same hole as he's been hitting. It's pretty cool that a camera angle, you can see that there's yellow fletching. The big yellow feathers fly right in there. Mm, no. Just low. That was another one. I think it looked like he got into just a couple of seconds extra of hole. Yeah. And we saw that earlier. When he held a little long, he also went low. I've seen Brady come from behind so many times. When you think it, he's been beat, oh, that one's kind of wide there. That's a Jack. nine. But I've seen him come from behind and, and win it many, many times. Mm -hmm. Pretty, pretty cool to see that. Jack mm -hmm. just took a reset there, just kind of reset his feet, deep breath. Yeah, so we already know Brady's going to get that set, I believe, because I think his last one caught. So. Yeah, I don't think uh, Jack can not catch him on this end. Yeah, so. But I see him looking at his bow there, wondering what's going on. So that'll take it. So this is going to make it 4-4. Four, four. Yep. We might get that shoot off yet. We might. I know that's what the fans here are hoping for. It's always the fans are hoping for one thing, and the the shooters are hoping for another. <laughs> the shooters want as least amount of drama as possible, and the fans want as much as they possible. They want a so. quick, easy, clean kill, and uh, yeah, and and we want to see the wreckage. Yeah, exactly. All right, this is. For, important for both of them here. Mm -hmm. So Brady's going to go first here. And uh, when you're looking at your screen there, that's not updated. It actually is 4-4. Four, four. Yeah. So Brady's going to go first here. I know these guys are not really thinking about the this, this set points. They're just trying to hit every 10, every single 10, you know, and that's that should be the goal. So there, that's Ooh. solid. So... We'll see if Jack can put it back together here. He had a little bit of a sketchy end there. Yep. Which he's been hitting low on that first one. I wonder if he just overcompensated on that one or what. It's hard to tell, but. You can see the frustration on his face there. As yeah. He's, it seems like he's kind of head scratching. Well, this a is bit a long, 
This is a long Ooh. trading. Oh, that wasn't good. And that's an eight. Yeah, that was not. He ran that clock down to three seconds. Yeah. And he has just let Jack back into this match. Yep. You don't see that very often from Brady. See that little dip there? Okay. And he got away with one. You see the the yeah. big breath there yeah. after that? <laughs> yep. All right, let's see if Brady can recover from that because I'm not. So right now Brady's working a 28. If he shoots a 10 here, that's edgy. And it's in an existing hole. Yeah. And that's what you don't want. If you have an arrow that's edgy and you don't want it in a hole that's already been bored out, make it harder to call. Yeah. All right. 29. Yeah. So Jack. So, so does that that would that mean Jack won? That means Jack just took that back because of that one bad arrow. Yeah. So I believe that's it right there. And see, that's all it takes. Wow, what a comeback by Jack. There. Yeah, that's crazy. <laughs> yeah, 29-27. It's official, Jack Williams. There you have it. Is going to be your gold medalist. Wow, what a comeback. And it was <laughs> it was, it was one crazy. arrow. See, yeah. One arrow that's after quick, all those ends. That's how quick this can turn. So congrats to Jack and good shooting by Brady also. But interesting uh, match. <laughs> Big sigh of relief there. Wow. What a fast turn. What a fast turn. What a great match. We're going to invite you to uh, stick around and come back. We've got more matches coming up. Uh, and thank you for watching this gold medal match of men's recurve here at the USA Archery Indoor Nationals Final for 2023.